Welcome back to my $50,000 bankroll challenge. All right, this is going to be session number 31. All right, however, these are the rules and the best spread that we've been working with over this particular bankroll challenge. And if done properly, um, this yields a very nice, uh, let's see here, there it is, $459 an hour, which we've been kind of sneaking back up towards that if we've had a couple of wins here lately. Um, although I think our last one was a loss. So we filled up one whole page, we have a ton of these videos already like i said about 30 of them this is session 31 last time we did lose just a little bit but we've been winning we were up to almost uh are we up to i should say 53 100 but now we're back down to 52 850 so i'm gonna get that here for you and we have 50 five and a thousand so this is also another thousand so this will be 51 52 with those black chips there and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 50. So I'm gonna slide those over here towards you. And then I'm going to get our cards shuffled up for us today as we're playing two shoes of double deck blackjack. All right, so I'll get these shuffled up and I'll be right back with you. All right, and then once again, these are gonna go right here in the middle. <laughs> Goodness, a little slippery, all right. And then the dealer's gonna have you Cut the cards somewhere. We'll go right there, maybe. And I'm gonna try to cut off right at 26 cards, as that's what our um, numbers over there are telling us to do, if you remember that from the beginning. And let's see here. What do you think? I'm gonna say we're pretty well short on that. I'm gonna call that 23 cards. Let's count it out and see. Always wanna to try to train your eyes best as possible so you can get accurate numbers. We have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two. So I was one card off there. All right, but remember my numbers call for twenty-six. So if that's twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and then I can put my cut card where it should go. All right. Remember our minimum bet is twenty-five dollars for anything less than a true one. Once we get up to a true one, we can. Bet 100, all right, since we've done 30 of these, I'll give you a little refresher. At a true two, it is gonna be two spots of 100. At a true three, it's gonna be two spots of 200. So one way to kind of think of this is sort of $100 less um, all the way up once you get past uh, that certain amount, all the way up to a true five, which would be, so five minus one is 400 in those two spots like that. That's gonna be our max bet. So it's kind of like $800 is out there. Um, now, I will say one thing that I have learned here um, over doing some of these videos is when you are heads up with a dealer, it's actually more beneficial to just play one spot as opposed to spreading to two. You can gain more EV that way by just betting one. You will have less variance if you split to two, but your EB, EV won't be as high. Now, if there's other players at the table, then it is more beneficial to split to two. And so um, because of that, I guess you could say our EV is uh, maybe not optimal in this case, but for the sake of this challenge, uh, I'm going to run this challenge to the end of 2024 and I, I don't really want to switch it up now. So um, I did, I have learned that uh, recently and I was doing that wrong. So you can yell at me in the comments for that. But anyway, our minimum bet of $25, our burn card over here. And then here come those casino type sounds. You ready to count? Well, let's go.
All right, I have our counts down here for us. That was kind of all over the place. We started negative, went positive for a little bit. We were able to bet those $100 chips back down. Anyway, this plus the burn card should be the opposite of what we have. Let's count out here. We have zero, one, zero, one, two, one, zero, D1, zero, D1, zero, D1, zero, D1, zero, D1 and zero. Yeah, I also had us at zero. So just the cards are all pretty spread out there. Not a whole lot of um, up and down with the true count. So plus zero, I don't, don't know why I put plus zero. Zero is a non-negative number as your local math teacher would tell you. That's me. All right, anyway, <laughs> um, got our minimum bet back out there. I'll get these shuffled up for us and then we'll try one more. All right, once again, this is gonna go right there in the middle cut the card somewhere and then I was pretty bad at cutting that last time so I'll try to cut off just a little bit more to make it more accurate this time let's see I'm gonna say right there and since I was pretty bad I'm gonna actually count that out I think we're pretty close we'll call that um, I'll say it's 25 let's do it one more time we'll go nice and quick for you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seven, eight, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Man, so I need twenty-six for the twenty-seventh one there. Uh, I need to be better at that. All right, here's our minimum bets. We got our burn card. We're gonna throw over here into the shoe. Okay, ready counts. Here come those sounds. Let's go.
All right, so I don't know. I got pretty negative there. Uh, that might have been one when it got down to, I think, minus seven for the running count at one point. I might would have got up and left, but um, since double deck is so fast, you, when it drops that low, it doesn't look too crazy if you get up for just a second, go get a drink, or go to the bathroom, whatever, come back, and then you jump right back into the next one. Um, the count varies so much that that's that looks totally fine. It's not like you're being obscure, being suspicious, I should say. Okay. Anyway, this plus the burn card should be the opposite again. Let's try it. So we have D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. Oh my goodness, there's where all the high cards were. D5, D4, D5. D6, D5, D4, D3, D4, D3, D2, D1, D2, D1, 0, 1, and still 1. Yeah, and I had us at minus 1. So this was plus 1, this was minus 1. I thought it was going to end up negative. Well, it was high cards at first, but actually it was positive, which makes ours negative. And that means that we were correct on both of our shoes today. So our bets were probably right. However, um, we need to count that up to see if we won or lost anything. So I will do that. I'll be right back with you. All right, a couple things here before we uh, count this up. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I'm gonna put those chips back and give you one green, another $25 green. And then let's count this up. We still have our 50,000 in orange. Haven't had to tap into that in a long time, which is nice. That's 50, 51, 52. Those are in piles of 10 black. And then that's 52,000, 1, 2, 3, 400, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 53. We're back over the 53 mark. Let's go. And 50. So $53,050. All right, so you can see, not quite as good as a couple times ago, we are at 53,100, but we are at 5350. So that was a nice $200 win today, all right? Hey guys, real quick before you go, um, again, I get all these numbers uh, from this, from blackjackapprenticeship.com. And so if you would like to uh, also put in your own numbers, it is essential if you wanna become a card counter and do this thing kind of for real, that you have the right numbers to plug in, okay? The difference between cutting off 0.5 of a deck or just half a deck there, 26 cards like we count out at the beginning every time, and even 0.6 or 0.7 cut off is huge, all right? That's gonna really eat into your EV, and you need to know the difference between that. So if you would like, down below this video, uh, there's a link to Blackjack Apprenticeship. I am an affiliate with them. If you use my link to sign up, I do get a little bit of kickback from that, and it really helps me out. That's one of the best ways you can uh, support this channel. If you can't afford that, though, you can hit the thumbs up. That also helps, too. And until next time, guys, this is A1 Blackjack. Oh.